Migration is Illumination's long-awaited film about a quirky family of ducks on a New York City adventure. The film had some delays over the years, the cast worked in complete isolation, and there were a ton of real-life attributes taken from the actors themselves and put into the film. One thing that's interesting about animation is that the cast very rarely ever gets to meet or work together. Migration was no different. Everyone was just solo in a booth. Most of them didn't meet until the movie's premiere. I just met my son and daughter for the first time. Um, we didn't do any of this work together. Even with that isolation, though, the cast did get to see each other's work while the movie was being made. It was helpful when figuring out how to play off of each other's characters. The film also took a lot longer than you probably think it did, five years to be exact, which was one of the reasons why the date of the film got pushed back. More on that coming up finally be able to share it with the world. And the animation is beautiful. I mean, there's a reason it takes a long time. Universal Studios made the unusual decision, given the film's plot, to push the release date back from the summer of 2023 to winter. A big reason for this pushback was actually because of COVID. The film was in its production stage for a really long time. It wasn't the worst decision, though, as now they're hoping to capitalize on the audience's desire for summer entertainment during the cold months of winter. Migration is now set to be released in December 2023, among other highly anticipated titles – Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, The Iron Claw, and Wonka. Though the film has a lot of competition, everyone has the bar pretty high for Migration because of Illumination's recent work. They really changed the game with Despicable Me, Sing, and their most recent film, the Super Mario Bros. movie. So even with major delays and pushback, all that means is that everything about migration is going to be cultivated to perfection. The director, Benjamin Renner, wanted to make sure that seeing this film in theaters would be an immersive experience. I wanted to reward the audience with like this beautiful scenery that you can have when you do this kind of effort of going out. Keegan-Michael Key was really excited about this role because one of his favorite things to do while performing is dialect work. He had also never gotten to play a Jamaican character yet throughout the course of his career. Obviously, being new to the accent, he did run into a bit of struggle. More specifically, he would often end up sounding a bit Irish. You find yourself going to Lucky Charms instead of being in the Jamaica. He had to redo a lot of takes. When you try to stay in a, in a, stay in a type of uh, dialect, you know what I'm saying there, man? Okay. According to the voice actors, doing animation can be a lot easier than acting on camera. I think you're allowed to overact a little bit because you're trying to match the look of the characters. The actors are allowed to be generous with their body language and facial expressions, which is helpful with breathing life into your animated character while you're all alone in a booth. Keegan-Michael Key was grateful he was able to put so much of his personality into his character while being given the grace to overact, quite the opposite of his usual on-camera roles. Which are always bigger than life or exaggerated, and so that you get to put more of yourself into it. Speaking of putting a lot of yourself into a character, oftentimes in animated films, the animated team pulls real-life looks and traits from the actors and puts them right into the film itself. The pigeon, like, has my eyelashes. I don't know how to describe it. This is Aquafina's fourth or fifth bird she's played in her career, but Chump is the most interesting of them all. The way that they kind of work in you and the character is always really cool. Benjamin Renner heavily influenced the film's voice and character direction, not only as a director, but also as an actor. Like I mentioned before, most of the cast didn't get to meet throughout the production, which includes Benjamin. Keegan-Michael Key hadn't gotten to meet him at all until the movie's premiere, didn't even know what the guy looked like. One thing Benjamin loved doing was the characters' voices. So he would put things into the film and, and we would get to listen to him. Regardless of having to do most of his communications with the main cast over Zoom, he felt really connected to them and thought they were all perfect fits for their characters. When I, I met them for the first time, they really were the characters. I told them, like, just be natural. The natural characters, the detailed animation, and the effortless comedy the cast and director bring to this film are completely unmatched. Pushing through five years of delay and taking over the Christmas season as a summer family flick, Migration is definitely going to want to be on your watch list this winter.